What's going on guys, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and today we're going to start a new series which essentially is going to be uh, an interview question and answer for uh, controls engineers slash technicians. So in this first episode we're going to talk about a very straightforward question which I've been asked many many times on interviews and I've asked myself uh, to other candidates as well. So this is essentially a very basic motor starter. So what you have at a plant level is essentially two simple buttons, a start button and a stop button. And the goal is to create a way to start a certain pump motor uh, or just any contactor, uh, you name it. So the question in general is gonna be always kind of asked at the very high level. Hey, we have two push buttons, which are going to be start and stop. And you need to be able to start a certain device and maintain its running state until the stop button is pressed. So the way you analyze a candidate or the way you are being analyzed as a candidate is first First of all, upon the questions that you asked about the situation. And so the first questions that you need to ask is, uh, so are your contacts, for example, normally open? So in the case of an old school system, you would use the push button. So I have two of them right here. So a start button as well as a stop button. Uh, so in an old school system where you would go directly to a contactor or uh, just a motor starter relay, you would essentially hardwire one of these to be normally open and then this one normally closed. That being said, in ladder logic, you can do uh, whatever you'd like. So you don't need to uh, be constrained to those types of behaviors. So we're going to start by saying, you know, so you need to ask, for example, like I said, are these buttons normally open, normally closed? And are they momentary or, for example, latch? So in my situation, I've always been using momentary push buttons. I don't see any uh, reason to use latch or weird switches or anything like that. So that's typically the answer that I would give. So let's start with that. So start button. So start button normally open. Momentary. Uh, stop button. Uh, and once again, the stop button can be a normally closed button and we will see that in just a moment as to uh, why that might be relevant. So mo this is going to be just the tags that I've already predefined so that you can give the person a way to program this. But you can do this on a whiteboard. You can be asked to, you know, just write the ladder, which is very basic on a whiteboard. Or you can be asked, hey, program this with these particular inputs and then send them to these particular outputs. And at the same time, I like to test people who are able to go online with the PLC and be able to perform uh, these very basic uh, ladder logic manipulations. So here I have a program which is already running on my PLC on and on the HMI. So on the PLC side, I essentially have a blank program. So I'm going to start with a rung. And like I said, I've already pre-configured a couple of tags. I didn't finish writing them in the um, in the document, but essentially they are going to be, let's look at these interview practice questions, int underscore motor. So our start button is going to reside on this tag zero. Let's just update our document with that. So it's going to be in motor. So this is going to be the tag for the start button. And then for the stop button, we are going to use this one. And last but not least, we also need to know the motor. So the motor is essentially a contactor, which is going to be um, there as well. Let's see. So I'm just trying to align this. motor contactor and this is going to be on int underscore motor uh, 10. So the person essentially needs to ask you these questions and make sure that everything's okay. I wouldn't give this out um, initially. So do ask questions, you know, make sure that you're very uh, certain of what type of equipment you're running. This demonstrates a lot of capability and just knowledge and curiosity about the system. And just double checks that all of the assumptions that you're making are exactly the same as the one that you're being asked to elaborate on. So this is a very basic diagram. So start, stop and the motor itself, it's go it's already pre programmed. So it is going to light up accordingly. But we're going to jump in here and I'm going to show you the solution. So take a few minutes to figure out what the rung is. But essentially, it's going to be fairly straightforward. I'm actually going to add some descriptions here as well. So this is going to be start. Uh, the stop button is going to be a XIO instruction. And like I said, that resides on motor one. And I've shown this uh, before in some of my videos. 
but uh, those of you who have do not have access to my class may not have seen this so int motor 10 this is going to be our motor contact motor starter <clears throat> and then if the motor is started then we can essentially keep this latched in so this is another condition which may not be explicitly uh, like I said mentioned but essentially whenever you have a motor started if you have a start button you don't want somebody to have to hold down on this button because it is a momentary push button right so we ask that question it is a momentary push button therefore after you've pressed and released the motor needs to stay running until it is stopped so this is uh, the bare bones ladder logic uh, solution that you would present at this kind of, an, of question at the interview so if we compile this we will notice really quickly that everything looks okay and we can go into our HMI. I can start this screen, which is already, like I said, it's already linked to the, PL, uh, to the PLC. And so when I hit the start button, it should start the, start the motor. When I hit the stop button, it needs to stop the motor. And once again, I can hit start and then it's going to run until stop is pressed. So as you can see, I can maintain stop. It's gonna be always stopped. I can maintain start. It starts immediately as I press down and it stays on until it is released. So let's go back into the ladder logic and really quickly discuss this. So some of the other questions that may come up based on this solution. So first of all is, uh, you have the stop condition, but you may monitor, for example, an overload condition. So you may, you may mention to an interviewer, hey, this might have, a, for example, instead of just using these tags, but I'll put in, you know, for example, this two and call this a motor overload slash fault. So this demonstrate that you, demonstrates that you know a little bit beyond just two buttons and you haven't figured this out during the interview, but you actually know uh, that there might be some alarms or faults associated with a pump, a motor, etc. So that's also can that also can be compiled and uh, done like so. Now there's many ways that you can think of of doing the starter. I've seen it with latches on latches. Uh, that being said, uh, this is also something that I would look into um, into the solution of the candidate because if you start using latches and on latches for this simple run, then there's definitely some uh, misunderstanding of how those. Uh, how those structures needed to be used. Therefore, I would always try and probe with questions such as, well, why are you using the slatch? Why are you using the onlatch here? What if something else happens? And I've actually, uh, I have a video where in my class where if you use latches and onlatches, that creates uh, a lot of different problems. So I would try and probe, uh, you know, those situations out of the individual. And you might be asked those same questions during the interview. So therefore, a uh, fairly straightforward question, like I said, one rung of logic, but it demonstrates quite a bit in your, uh, I, I want to say, basic levels of programming. And if you are able to do something like this, I can already tell that the candidate is uh, potentially either much, much higher than what it needs to be, or is at least teachable and understands the fundamentals of a ladder logic programming. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.